Well, take us through uh, the team's reaction as you're watching the brackets and bail. Um, we're we're stoked. You know, we we know we can we can beat these guys. And they got they kind of slipped out of our hands here earlier in the year, but. That was a completely different team, uh, a team that wasn't playing together, a team that didn't really have, you know, a way, didn't know what we were like doing as well. Now I think we're twice the team we were then, and they barely beat us. And I think that uh, it's just I, we're we're just it's so rare to have a, a pick like that to have a home court advantage and play a team that you already know like what they do. It's it's just it was a perfect pick for us, and we were just excited. What do you know about the Rebels, given that it was early in the season, but that you have seen them? Um, they're they're very athletic. They're uh, they're run and gun type team, and uh, we're just going to have to make sure that we, uh, you know, limit you know what Bennett does. He's he's the type of guy who can go off for thirty and ten any night, and uh, he hurt us last time. So we we we're going to have you know a different way of guarding him, knowing now what he's capable of. What are you anticipating in San Jose? I mean, pretty much, as you said, a home court advantage there with fans traveling. If Cal, uh, if uh, an alum, a student, uh, if they ever plan on going to one sporting event ever in their lifetime, this needs to be it. This is the, you don't get, this is like that, the moment that can be, you know, remembered forever. I think that if, we have that home court advantage. It's it's going to be we're going to have so much more of just a mental advantage. And I think b being that it's in the Bay Area, everyone needs to show up that represents you know the Golden Blue. Mentally, where do you guys have to be in the next four days when you take the court on Thursday in a do or die situation? What do these practices need to consist of, and how do you keep that focus? Um, I think you know our mentality is going to be we're not going to lose. And it's not you know it doesn't matter how good they play. It's just going to be, we're not going to lose. And I think that's the mentality we're going to have to have. And I think that's the mentality we're going to have because, you know, we, we need to get these guys back because of what happened. And that was a, a heart wrencher. And I really think that, you know, we're just going to have to come out and play harder than we've ever played in our lives.